to a Team Lunicorn video. In this video we will be unboxing the new game released called Lucidity Six Sided Nightmares. It came, comes in a nice uh, beautiful uh, packaging. Here it is. Uh, this is uh, one of the few things that uh, this particular company did. I know uh, Zombie Tsunami did a custom box as well. Uh, very beautiful. Uh, inside, we just open the box up. We comes with uh, some drop, uh, dropping dice, which we'll look at a bit later. They were uh, an add-on to the uh, to the actual Kickstarter itself. But the box itself, uh, this is the deluxe version of the uh, of the game. Um, as you can see, it's uh, the slip cover is very nicely done. Uh, inside, we have both the uh, retail standard edition of the uh, of the game, as well as the uh, deluxe version of the game. Now I can't, don't know if you can see this, but the deluxe version does actually have a patterned black. A cover on it, but we'll look at that second. Looking at the uh, standard edition game, um, it is the Lucidity is a dice based game, uh, pressure luck, where each player it represents a, a dreamer going into the dream world trying to escape. Uh, along the way, they need to uh, decide how many dreams they wish to uh, try to, uh, to dream. And uh, if they push your luck too far, they may actually become nightmares themselves. Now, I've already opened up the pack now, boxing, makes things quicker and easier. Uh, inside the box, very uh, beautifully lined. It comes with a, uh, a rule book. Very easily to understand, nicely diagrammed. Uh, should be very easy to, uh, to play. Um, it is for one to four players. Uh, it recommends uh, 30, 20 to 30 minutes per play. Um, I've had the pleasure of playing it twice and I think it did last about that length of time. Uh, we have some postcards type uh, sheets. They're all based on the various uh, various nightmares. Uh, we have the play, uh, player boards. Now these player boards, there are four in all, um, but they are double-sided. So this side here is for the multiplayer game. And if we flip the cards over, we also have the oops, uh, single player version of the boards. So we have the uh, primal Fear, Imprisonment, The Depths, and Envy. So if you want to play uh, single player, you use this side. Multiplayer, you use this side. Next we have the actual dice themselves. Um, let's see if we can get a good view of these. Each, uh, each set of dice, I'll make some stuff. they roll very nicely. Night, very nice, nice feel to them. Uh, each, uh, there are 20 of each coloured dice. If I can put this in. So there's 20, no, 20 yellow, 20 red, twenty green, and twenty blue. Uh, each one represents each of the types of nightmares. Uh, each one has a dis different distribution of uh, symbols on them. Uh, some of, like this one for example, has the uh, numbers 1 and 2, so you can actually get better rewards, which are the, uh, the uh, powers, whereas all the other colours only have one. Um, these are the uh, tokens you're going to be using for your tracker. So you have the uh, wherever it is, tracker, and you place these on the actual number that you're trying to um, number of dice to draw. 
the bag. Very beautiful bag. This a photo of a felt, felt style bag. Uh, you put the dice in there, mix them around, pull them out. We have the, uh, the cards. And in the background you can hear my bird. But we have uh, Primal Fear, Imprisonment, Envy, and Depths. There's also a variant for the game where you can play Temptation, which this version you substitute out uh, Primal Fear. And if you flip the card over, we have the green version of Temptation, which you take out Envy instead. Now the backs of the cards have uh, alternate, alternate art, very nice, so you can use uh, either side. They both do the same powers, so it doesn't matter which side you do, it depends on which, uh, which colour or which uh, picture you want. We have uh, four, four turn, uh, turn uh, or cheat sheets and uh, the distribution of the symbols. One for each player. Inside the box, very nicely inlaid as well. One of the other add-ons for the game were the uh, ink drop dice. Whereas uh, the main main dice are solid colours, these are nice and transparent with the uh, little swirl of colour, which makes it sort of more dreamy in style. Definitely worth the uh, the extra money spent. Now these can be uh, used instead of the extra base dice. Um, and I guess you could actually put these in there to make it a total of 160 dice in the bag. Um, bit crazy. I don't think I'll do that. I'll probably just use them as a substitute. Now let's have a look at the deluxe version. As I mentioned, it is uh, nicely printed here. Unfortunately, there's no uh, imprint inside, it's just black. That's fine, it's uh, still pretty good. Um, inside, we have the uh, rule books for the expansions. So we've got the contents, the. Um, there is also the fin family friendly uh, re theme of it, so if you are, do you have young kids that you want this to play with, but don't want to scare them with the, uh, with the imagery, then you can uh, use the family friendly version. Uh, comes with three different expansions. One is the Bone Hunters expansion, which we'll look at, which gives additional dice. Uh, Manifestations expansion, um, additional cards that you can put in there, and the Dreamscape expansion. Um, and a bit of a story that the backers uh, helped produce. The actual playmats themselves, there are additional ones. These ones are neoprene, very uh, nice Thing. The only difference is that this one doesn't have uh, the single player back, but that's fine. Um, it's very it's like a mouse match uh, style feel to it. Um, of course, there are uh, four of these to uh, for each player. These are also the family friendly uh, mats. The layout is exactly the same. The only difference is the uh, the picture of the. Um, on the actual mats. Again, there's four of them, uh, so that's one for each player. Also in the exp uh, deluxe edition are the plastic overlays. So it doesn't matter if you put it on the neoprene, uh, out neoprene or on the cardboard, they put it over there and the dice neatly fit, in, fit into the slots. Again, there are four of these, one for each player. I can pull this one out. Uh, the deluxe edition does contain four additional dice. Um, you can add them in, so there will be 88 dice total, um, although it does increase the randomness. Or you can use them as uh, replacements if you accidentally lose any of the um, original dice. Uh, these are the Bone Hunter dice. Uh, as you can maybe see, you know, there is another sim different symbol on there which represents the Bone Hunter. Um, so that's for the expansion. We also have the cards. Now I've pre-opened these up, make it easier. So these are the the backs of the of the cards. If we have a look at the 
uh, dreamscape cards. These represent different uh, additional rules that you can play during each of the um, each of the games, just to mix things up a bit. And the uh, manifestation cards. Uh, these are additional cards that uh, you can gain to change the game up slightly on your turn. Very nice artwork there. The feel of it is very nice. Nice and thick cards. Um, the uh, very uh, very nice to handle. These are the family friendly uh, cards. We have the uh, primal fear, the imprisonment, envy, and the depths. On the backs of these ones are the same pictures, but without the text on there. So it's a nice little touch there. Again, we have temptation, a replacement for the uh, red primal fear, and the green temptation, which is the replacement for envy. Now we also have the Bone Hunters card, which uh, I don't think is quite friend family friendly, um, but that's obviously used for the Bone Hunters expansion uh, rules and the additional rules on the back there. Um, the box itself, okay, inlaid, very nice, nicely done. So that was a, another unboxing for Team Lunicorn. Um, I hope you and enjoyed it and until next time happy gaming